I'll be talking about Dexy, which is a little bit middle ground too. You can write documentation in it if you want, if you will, but it's more like uh, you give it ingredients like uh, text, the source codes, and stuff. Uh, Dexy give you utensils. And uh, in the end, you you get your bread. So I will demonstrate it on uh, the slides I made for Barclay Minostal. Uh, Taxi is uh, built on idea of filters. So when you Taxi filters, you get. Uh, 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 all, the, all the filters you can use. There are like music files, and you and you fetch it music files, and it renders you uh, like notes. Uh, for for markup languages, you can you can use ASCII doc, uh, Markdown, restructured text, and all the stuff you need. For uh, templating, there is Jinja. Ginger is used very heavily. So, for the slides. <laughs> I made my markdown file with when you specify the slides the slides filter. Every like two new lines are new slides. So two lines Another two lines. This is first slide, second second slide, third slide, and so on. You can uh, define for uh, for ginger filter. You can define title. So uh, it fetch you a title context for a template. You can define output name. This is more like. Uh, Reporter, which is another another aspect of Dexy, you can have reporters when you when you run. You can make websites uh, from your stuff, and also the, there's some additional additional configuration for the slides filter when you, when you define uh, how the how the slide is made. Uh, another section of config, configure is source. This is uh, how your source file is handled into into the Jinja context, so we can so we can use them in your Markdown, markdown RST, HTML. Uh, I use two basic forms here, which is uh, take source file and use pick on it here, and it. It renders you the HTML with uh, CSS for pigments. An, an, another form is take the source file and run it. Source file, uh, run it in like REPL or some uh, through some kind of compilation, and take take the output from running it and uh, pass it through the pigments like support text. Uh, how it's used in in templates? It's basically uh, just just like Jinja. Yeah? You got uh, the, the dictionary <coughs> for every file you have in your project, and you just apply filters. So I've got hellox idio. This takes uh, elixir file and pass it through through just idio. So it pass it through pigments and through the uh, elixir lexer, and then just HTML with elixir CSS. 
So it's just like bash. Okay. <laughs> 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 your pipe, yeah, your pipe in bash. <laughs> that's the same. That's gonna hurt. <laughs> <laughs> Here we got source code. Here we got our heat. And you can use you can use a yeah, uh, annotation of your source code, so you can define like div module in grid. And you can comment. Export uh, name of annotation and then use it in templates. Any questions? No question. Sorry. <laughs> no. Lightning girls have no questions. No. Sorry, sorry. Get questions come to Mark and talk to him. Okay. <laughs> Thank you very much.